Hello YouTube, this is RV Granny. We decided today to visit some of my husband's old fishing haunts. He's lived in this area his whole life and has been a fisherman since he was a boy. We started the day at Henley's Silver Lake Resort. The resort's been here for a long time and has seen generations of fishermen. You can fish from the dock or in a boat and they have cabins and RV spaces that have full hookups. That's okay. Did you get it? Yeah, go ahead. Well, it's an old joke, but it still fools a few people. I've been coming here for 30 years, and the prices have gone up a little. But that's like everything else. Oh well. The lake's beautiful, and the scenery's wonderful, and it's not fancy, but it's a really nice place to go fishing. Wait a minute, that sound didn't come from me. That was somebody playing with a baby. Alder Lake Park was our next destination. It has a dam that generates electricity and is owned by the Tacoma Public Utilities Company. The park has RV spaces and camping spaces of all kinds. And they also have a wonderful swimming area that our granddaughters love. This little area is called Pleasant Valley. I'd love to hear the story that goes with this little cabin that we found alongside the road. This is Mineral Creek. We're on our way to the town of Mineral. Our last stop was the Mineral Lake. There's an RV park there, but the reviews online don't look very good. I think the people that stayed there before got there before they had the bathrooms installed. But you used to have to walk down to the end of the block and use a public bathroom down there. It wasn't a flush toilet either. It was kind of crude. Seems to be.
It looked like a lot of people had firewood and tents next to their RVs where they were smoking fish. That must be a big attraction for this place. Whatever the attraction is, we know that the lake is a great lake for fishing. One of the best ones in the area. This is where the mill used to sit. This used to be the mill right here. The mill my husband referred to was a small a sawmill. There's a train track that runs alongside the lake and they would dump logs into the lake and then they would fish them out and saw them up in the sawmill. Mineral Lake is beautiful and when the weather's right you can see Mount Rainier in the distance. The smallest post office in the United States. During the final quarter of the 19th century, a number, number of settlers established themselves in the vicinity of Mineral. Their roads and only questionable trails, supplies, and mail were packed in mainly from Tacoma or Spanaway. But as the Tacoma Eastern Railroad was extended from various ways point, among the early settlers was the family of August Alstrand, which occupied the land where this little building now stands. The settlers coming back and usually brought the mail of the entire area and since the Allstrand's home was quite central left it there. Mr. Allstrand conceived the idea of building and maintaining this structure as a post office. He and Mrs. Allstrand made certain that every family uh, or single settler was provided with a post office box. The use of the building was continued until the establishment of a post office in town in the town of Mineral and there are persons still residing in this area who will remember the days when the little post office so well served its purpose. The Mineral Lake Lions Club has restored the building with the permission of Mr. and Mrs. H.G. Berglund of Tacoma, the present owners. Mrs. Berglund, the niece of Mrs. Alstron, lived here with the Alstrons for many years. The building really is tiny. It's eight by eight. You already been swimming. You can't go swimming again. Once a day is enough. 